This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today I need your help. I acquired a very unusual locking device from England, and I have no idea who made it or even what it's for. The only writing on the outside is 134EK, which appears on both sides of the device, as well as on the bow of the key. And that's obviously hand stamped. I do have some theories as to what this is for, but I'm not going to state them and prejudice your opinion. It would be great if someone actually knows what this is, but absent that, your best guesses would also be appreciated. So, what I'm going to do is take you through its features and explain their mechanical functions with as little extra commentary as possible. We'll start on the outside where there are two separate hidden shackles as well as levers for locking them, and once they're locked, you can't unlock them from the outside. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on video, but when I lock the shackles, I can hear ticking start from the inside of the device. We can then move on to the keyhole, which is covered by a shutter. You need to push that aside with the key. Now, if we look through this tiny little window, we can see some movement when I push that shutter aside. I'll show you what that is in just a moment. We can now unlock this, which allows us to open the cast aluminum clamshell and reveal a very complex mechanism. Once inside, we can press the levers, which unlock the shackles, and when the shackles open, the clocks stop. A couple notable things about the clocks, they are modified Ingersoll wristwatches, likely from the 40s or 50s. They can be set and wound by lifting this spring-loaded panel, and there are identical panels on either side of the clamshell. I think the presence of two different watches connected to each shackle may suggest that the maker anticipated the shackles being locked at different times. Moving on to the lock core, it's a curtained lever design with 15 levers. That's more levers than most safe locks. To insert the key, you need to push a shutter aside, which in turn presses on this lever. If we open this little trap door, we can see that lever is attached to a needle. So when you insert the key, that needle swipes across this chamber, presumably destroying some sort of tamper evident object. You'll be able to see the status of that chamber when the clamshell is closed by looking through this window. So this is obviously a very strange and complex mechanism, and I'm really hoping you guys come through for me because trying to figure this out has been driving me crazy. But that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.